Vera, it will be receiving. And, uh, yeah, there are a lot of questions, Coach. You know, you lose uh, Lupe Marone, you lose a Darren Rivas, you lose a J.R. Varial, you lose a big line featuring Big Surge Morales. And a lot of people are saying, what do the Wildcats have? Well, they went three rounds, but that was last year. But so did Rivera go three rounds. And I'm sure both coaching staff will tell you that was last year. So that kicks about the eight-yard line. And he is taken down underneath from, I believe that was number 82, return, number five, Ryan Rodriguez. Um, so it'll be first down and 10 at about the 25-yard line, Coach. And uh, Rivera, they also lost a lot of people, Coach. Uh, three rounds deep, they had an a all-star type quarterback. And looks like number 10, Angel Dolatino will be starting for the Rivera Raiders. And they're in a multiple set. And they're having a little hard time getting lined up. Yep. You know, those are the things that are going to happen. Now, the Wildcats return eight on defense. And uh, that's a big plus, John. That's oh, a big yeah. And, and a lot of experience up front. <laughs> Fumbles a snap. But he gets out of trouble. And a fumble snap to about a 20, 15-yard gain, Coach. Uh, that's not the way you want to start a football game. No, no, it's not. And, and you know, how many times have we seen uh, a busted play turn into something like that? Well, you got people with their head down. You got people uh, not keeping contained. You talked about finding out what you have. You know, experience should tell you, you know, do your job. Don't do someone else's. And uh, that costs right there. Yeah, you know, they'll, they're, I think they're going to settle down a little bit, you know, once oh, they get sure. the feel for what's, what's going on out there. And uh, like you say, the experience is there defensively, so let's see how they uh, respond to that. Well, and got, there they are. Yeah, quarterback Blast, he, he was led up the middle by his running back. Uh, I know Coach Guzman and the defensive staff, they're playing around with an odd front up front a little bit. So they've, you know, they've got some experience, so they're trying to uh, develop some different looks. I see uh, big number uh, 78, Angel Almanza, and they're on the tackle. Uh, you got linebackers number 45, Adrian Duran, and number 40, I believe, uh, Ray Gonzalez. And we have Tolatino in the backfield looking to pass. And he hits the tight end right over the middle for another big play. That's a, that's a play that, you know, Coach Chavez likes to run a lot. Oh, yeah. He, he really is one of those guys that uses his, uh, his inside receivers or, in some cases, the tight end. Um, so we've got a couple first downs early on this drive. Multiple set by the uh, Raiders. And number 11 is lined up as the tight end, even though he's flexed out a little bit. Got number 10 and number 32. That's uh, Mario Mendez in the backfield. And number 10 with the carry. And not much there, about two yards, Coach. Down the right side on the keeper, the quarterback. Number 10, Angel Tolentino. You know, it looks like they're going to rely heavily on number 10. He's throwing the ball. He's running the ball. Um, I, I guess football's kind of heading that direction. Coach. Yeah, right now it looks that way. So we've got second and about eight to go. Wildcats on defense. Uh, those of you uh, watching either on 956 or Valley Central or WISD.US, we are streaming live. And that's a great defensive play up the middle. I believe that's number 64, Marco Arroyo. Coach, you remember playoffs a couple years ago? I remember that young man. A freshman, a freshman that we could not block in practice, and there he is in his senior season. Uh, he's one of the captains tonight, along with Santos Garcia. And we're going to have third and long. And if I know Coach Chavez, he's got a screen and he's got a draw on his package. Well, he, he, he definitely came out in a spread. He went doubles both sides. Okay. That same pass to the same man down the middle. And we had a good defensive play that time. Number 11 down the middle 
is Chris Zuniga. And, uh, you know, right here, they're in that uh, four-down territory. I don't think they'll punt. Uh, he's going to go for it. And it looks like number 45 and number five on the defense. Yeah, uh, you know, early in the season, you're fourth and eight from the 31-yard line. Coach, there's no, you don't have a field goal kicker that can get it there. Uh -huh. And there's no need to punt. What will you gain if it goes in the end zone? 11 yards? Maybe. Yeah. So here we got uh, Tolentino, at quarterback. Hey. Oh, no. I, yep. don't see, I don't see a flag, though. Yeah, there's I a, do. There's, there's, a, a, there's a pick, but... Uh, it's a it, free play. It's going to be a free play. It's going to end up being fourth and about on three the on the offsides. You know, that's one of the tricks that the Wildcats like. and uh, Like to freeze them, don't we? Oh, and, uh, you know, some turnarounds fair play. Offside. Number 52, defense, five-yard penalty, repeat fourth down. Now, now we're at a different uh, down and distance here at fourth and about three. Uh, you've got to be very aware of that quarterback, the way he's been running the football. So Tolentino in the backfield with uh, number 32, Mario Mendez, on a fourth down on the first drive of the football game on a beautiful Thursday night. Oh, great job. Oh, and he missed it. And is that number 11? That's number 11, Coach. Chris Zuniga. Looks like the linebacker came through clean, does not make the play. The quarterback works his way out of trouble. And we have a touchdown pass by the Rivera Raiders. Well, that uh, that quarterback showed a little strength right there because uh, he, he should have been tackled. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, you know, even even though the coverage uh, shouldn't have fallen asleep with the uh, missed tackle. So with 9.25 to go in the first That's quarter, the score good. is the Rivera Raiders 7, the West Coast East Wildcats 0. So here tonight for K-West, we have the complete crew. We have uh, Julian, who's our director upstairs, and Darlene Gracia. On the graphics, the first lady of K West. Joe Leal is running the audio. Mario Palacios is on replay. Amadeo Briones is on a sideline camera. Rafael Cavazos is on the hard camera up top. Don Ramirez is on a field camera. Val Zamora is on a field camera. I'm John Boswell, and that's Coach Armando Cuellar. And we are live on 956sportsvalleycentral.com. And on KWest via WISD.US. So we are streaming live on three different outlets on the media tonight. And we have a kickoff return set up by the Wildcats. Ball kicked very high in the air. Catch a number there, Coach. The return was Cito Rojas, number one. Now, a couple of young men changed numbers. Cedar wore number 15 last year. He's wearing number one this year. And J.C. Vargas has moved into the number 15 jersey. So here we go with the first look in 2015 of a West Coast East Wildcat offense who is only returning one starter, and he's injured tonight, Coach. I was there watching that scrimmage when it happened, and... Uh... It's uh, unfortunate. He but, got uh, his knee rolled up on, and yeah. it looks like we got Richard Lefevre at quarterback, big number 13. And I say big, he's the biggest guy out there on the West Coast East offense right now. Oh. I tell you what, he's got a good release. Yeah, he, he zipped that ball, but they're going to get it offsides on the uh, Rivera Raiders, so it's going to be first down and five for the Wildcats. Offside, defense, number 48, five-yard penalty, repeat first down. Uh, Seen that official a few times there, Ghost? Oh, yeah, that's Mr. Michael Buck. Michael Buck. Now, there's the uh, defensive coaches and the defensive uh, team over there trying to figure out what's going on. Um, but here we go on offense. We'll get the linemen for you later in the, in the uh, first half. But right now, you got number 13. And you've got Emilio Tamez with the carry up the middle. 
You know, Emilio, coach, he's one of those guys that you can't get out of the weight room. You can't get out, you know, off the field. Uh, he's one of those guys that's been around forever. And many people think he's the next guy. You know, uh, coach, my last year there, uh, when he was a freshman, we saw something in him, and we knew that uh, before he graduated, he was going to be the man carrying the ball. And uh, we, uh, I, I know everyone's looking forward to a great season for him. But like you say, he, he works as hard as anybody, if not more than anybody. But uh, hard work always pays off. So you got J.J. Garza in the game at quarterback. And he hands off to Emilio oh, no, Tamez. And it's going to be third and about two, Coach. Mm -hmm. So that's the second quarterback Coach Forget has run tonight on the first drive. Would you care to speculate on what's going to be called? Well, if it was a year ago, I would say without a fact, it would be freeze quarterback snake. Uh -huh. But, you know, you've got to remember They're that Coach Chavez and Coach Burgett worked together in Donna uh, for a couple of years. So they should and probably do know how each other think a little bit. Yeah. There's a toss. And he's up inside. It's going to be a first down. So that's Emilio Tamez out of the I formation. Hasn't really had much uh, space yet. Up front, you have uh, Gavin Gaetan. You have uh, Big Alex Sines. You have Easy Alfaro. Uh, Jonathan Bonda, who is injured. You got number 74. You've got Daniel Mendez. Um, and that's a straight dive handoff for not much room there. So that was number 25, Fabian Castro, a good young running back. But, you know, he didn't get much room back up inside. Got number 44 in the game right now. He is Jonathan Bolness. He's a tight end. Uh, they expect uh, Jesse Trevino back at tight end. He's having a little knee problem right now, I believe. Um, nice feature on him on, on Channel 5 last night. Um, and you got Matthew Garcia in there. And we get another toss. And they're not getting a whole lot of room right now from this Rivera defense. So it's going to be third and about six or seven. So Coach Forget right now is uh, he's running J.J. Garza in there. Also in the scrimmage is Cito Rojas plays some uh, quarterback coach. And uh, it's like we got twin receivers here at the near side. And we got a sneak for not very much. I think they thought they drew him off size, but I don't see any flags. So punt the football. Uh, what do you do right here, coach, this early in the season? Well, the keeper, number right now, two, coach, I think punt punt a wife brings up fourth down for the Wildcats. Well, you know, knowing the uh, Wildcats as we both do, <laughs> and I just saw Darren Rivas there in the stands, uh, they've got some junk off of the punt formation. All they do. Oh, we always do. Oh, yeah. Um, well, you know, what? Wh why not? Well, look, you got three receivers to the left, and you've got four backs in the backfield. And there's a flag for some reason. Did they run out of time? Uh, I'm not positive. <laughs> so, you know, if, if you're on the defensive side here for the uh, Rivera Raiders, um, Again, you know, some Ex of those coaches have worked together. Expect anything. Oh, yeah. This early in the year? Uh, a year ago, Coach, in Brownsville, the, this game kind of changed tempo on a trick play by the Wildcats and then the emergence of Lupe Marron. Absolutely. Because uh, uh, Rivera held him in check for pretty much the first half. But one of the Cuates had a long run off of a trick play. Next hey, thing you knew, the, the thing kind of opened up. The old, the old rap player, the peanut player, as we called it. Yeah. It was based off of that. Sure mm -hmm. was. There they go. Okay. Three wide outs, four receivers. Shift into a formation, and you've got Lefevre back there, who started at quarterback. 
Okay, and he punts the ball away. And it's going to roll, Coach. Nice roll. And it looks like Cito Rojas over there. And uh, the punt delivered by number 13, he's going to touch Beaver. it down. He no and uh, JC are going to touch that thing down over there. So on the first quarter with 521 to go, uh, the second time out for the Wildcat defense, the second time out for the Raider offense. See what kind of adjustments. One minute hydration timeout. Okay. One minute hydration uh, that's timeout. Right. That's something that started in the last year or two, Coach. Back when you and I played, they didn't ever give us water. When you and I started coaching, they didn't give them a whole lot of water. Now we're stopping and making sure everybody gets a drink. It's amazing how things have changed. But you know, student safety is always first oh, yeah. and foremost. And, uh, if, uh, if you think about some of the things that we did in our early coaching careers or that were done to us as players, you would like, you know, there's no way you would do that to a kid. But, you know, the old Junction boys from the uh, A&M days with Bear Bryant, those guys are not allowed water and crawling in uh, stickers and uh, if you got water it was a sign of weakness and all that stuff we were taught well we know better now we do so it's going to be an exciting uh, school year for the sports here in uh, WISD uh, high expectations uh, as always and here we go again in the second series of the first quarter for the Rivera Raiders, who scored on their last drive. Looks like number 10 is still in the game. That's uh, Angel Tolentino. Uh, for those of you wondering, uh, Mr. Terry Beidler will be back. Uh, he's uh, still in summer vacation. You know, those of us that are retired uh, can summer vacation for a long time. That's Tolentino thrown to Sammy Oribe for about nine yards, I believe. So right now, he's got time to throw, and he's finding his receivers. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and Beast, uh, second and short now, what we've seen from him, and he, I mean, he's been the go-to guy. I would not be surprised to see him carry the ball. Oh, yeah. Uh, he has been the uh, shining star right now for the Rivera Raiders. And there he goes. Not they're, much there, there, Coach. They're ready for him. It's going to be third and about two, so Tolentino heads up in there in the uh, interior of the defense for the Wildcats. Almost had a bad snap there. Yeah, he did well to not lose that ball. But Marco Arroyo and uh, looks like Roy uh, Pedraza and and a bunch of others. Um, so we got third and... One and a half, turn two, somewhere in there. And again, I would, oh, uh -oh. offside. Offside, now it's going to be. That's going to be third and about six, so Line. that's going to change things. Those are the All things that stop good drives, I'll tell Number you. Number 11, offense, five-yard penalty, repeat third down. You know, that's one thing, though. You know, I was an offensive lineman coach, and, and they're starting to say who the penalties are on. <laughs> I wouldn't have liked that. No. <laughs> They don't say I made a good block when we scored a touchdown. They shouldn't be telling them that I held on that other one. <laughs> so we got third and six for the Rivera Raiders. And we got Angel Tolentino, number 10, at quarterback. He's been the man so far. And there he is with a nice throw. Wow. Complete for first down to number 14. Number 14. That's Anthony, Anthony Garcia. Garcia. So he got back, he set his feet, and he winged it just over the hands of uh, Roy Pedraza and right in front of uh, J.C. Vargas. So right now the Wildcats need to find an answer to number 10. Hand off to number 32. 32 is Mario Mendez. I believe that's his second carry. He made about five yards, four and a half yards on that coach. That's right, he did. And uh, met in the hole there by number 40. That's Ray Gonzalez. 
So you got second and what we used to call medium, about six. Six yards. Yeah. Wow, what a great production. What a great night for football. The K-West guys are all out, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And, oh, he got caught from behind. That's great play right there defensively. That's number 52. That's Santos Garcia, one of the captains tonight, coming off the backside. You know, that, as a quarterback, you, you can't account for something you can't see. And he's running to his left. And nice job by number 20. Luis Aguirre uh, down, making the quarterback step up inside and allowing Santos to catch that from the backside. So he got third and nine on the last third down. Completed the pass to number 14. So Tolatino's back to pass. And it's off the hands of number 14. Actually, it's the same pattern, Coach, that they just completed to him the other direction. But uh, this ball's a little high. Got some pressure out of number 20, Luis Aguirre. And it looks like it's going to be a punt situation. Now, you know, as an old punter coach, used to put a guy back there 14 yards and <laughs> drill it back there and punt it. Well, nobody does that stuff anymore. Not really. You know, he's back there at about 12, and, and he's got two wideouts. And looks like we got maybe Cito Rojas back here deep. And we got Roy Pedraza putting pressure on. He had some good pressure on that, forced him to So you're going to leave that alone? Oh, my goodness. Uh, number seven was blocking Isaiah Gonzalez, and I believe that ball may have went off his head, and that was heads up by J.C. Vargas picking that ball up. So this will be the second offensive drive for the Wildcats, who didn't muster much in their first drive. Once in a while... You have to come back and say, you know what, we run the ball, and you know they haven't really established anything yet, coach. But uh, there's going to be quite a few games on K West this year that are streaming live. Okay, we got Ridge of the Fever back at quarterback, and we've got one of those Boudreau plays. We've seen those before, and it's picked off. And it's going to be a touchdown for the Rivera Raiders. You know what, Bob? The execution wasn't really there because of things that happened, but the receiver was wide open. Yeah, it, it uh, you know, it's one of those things that you're taking, while well, the referees, is there a flag somewhere, Coach? They're, uh, they're we're talking about something down there. Yeah, I don't, this is not the NFL. We're not going to kick it from the 45. I do see a flag uh, official at the, about the 17-yard line is standing on top of a flag. Okay, so which team are they talking to? Okay, they're, they're saying it's on the Wildcats. And I believe Rivera saying we'll take that on the kickoff. So that was one of those special plays where uh, hopefully you catch them off guard, but the uh, second pass had pressure and he did not get a clean throw off. So let's hear Mr. Buck. Personal foul, contacting a defenseless player. 63 on defense. Penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Okay, so they're going to kick the extra point. Looks like number 30 for the Rivera Raiders. And he is not on the roster. There is no 30 on the roster. So number 30 kicking the extra point with a yep. score of 13 to nothing. The mystery man. In the first quarter. And they don't have anyone. Well, they do have a number 45 listed as a kicker. And whoever was kicking, that kick was good. So right now, early in the season, the Wildcats are going to have to see uh, what they're made of because they're probably going to get this ball with a 15-yard penalty. They're, they're going to be kicking off from the 45-yard line, Coach. Mm -hmm. And uh, either the kicker is going to try to bloop it up in the air or he's going to kick it in the end zone. And either way, the Wildcats may get the ball deep. We're going to have to see what's... 
what's the happening here. So you know, sometimes when you get that quick quick lead and you want to go for the juggler, you might onside kick or something like that. Well, you know, there's nothing to lose for Rivera onside kicking with this field position, coach. Because let's say they don't recover it. Well, if the ball goes 10 yards, it's at 35. So you didn't really lose a lot by attempting uh -uh. an onside right here. Even if they don't recover, that ball's going to 35. And it looks, like, it looks like the Wildcats are uh, sure thinking the same thing. I would. Uh, So let's see what happens again. We have number 30. It looks like he's going to be the kicker on the kickoff team also. And we cannot uh, identify him. He is not on our roster. Remember last year, Boz? Wildcats were down 14-0 early. Oh, yeah. That's the same thing. Yep. That's what I'm saying. It changed on a trick play. Oh, he's kicking that one out of here. Oh, my gosh. Good guy. The wheels are falling off the bus. There's no reason to even try to catch that ball nine yards deep in the end zone. But they uh, say the Wildcats recovered, but the ball's going to be on the four-yard line. Boy, they dodge the if he lets that ball go out of the end zone, they get the ball on the 25-yard line. So, uh, and there's the man who makes it all happen. Dr. Ruben Alejandro, and sitting right behind him in the sunglasses. Mr. Ed Davida, Thank who you. I understand is retirement coach. He's been around for a long time, hasn't uh, Someone told me 44 years. Wow. Uh, I mean, amazing. I worked with Mr. Davila as a, He was an assistant principal way back in the day when I was working here. And then we got in a quarterback here. That's Cito? Cito. Holy cats. Hand off to Emilio Tamez, and did he get out Hand of the end zone? He, uh, he hit the, the one-yard line. I think they're going to spot wow. that on the one. That's a good spot. Right now, uh, something good needs to happen for the Wildcats. Yeah. Well, I think the most First important thing right now, you know, Boz, we, and we always talked about that, just keep your composure. Oh, yeah. It's a long game. Yes. And it's a long season. You know, I've seen teams not win a preseason game or a non-district game and then win district, and I've seen it happen the other way. Exactly. Uh, was that a snake, Coach? Uh, he, uh, he bobbled the snap and, and, and did the best he could just to get positive yards. So you're going to have third and ten from the... Four or five yard line, third and nine for the Wildcats. So um, here we go. What do you got in your book for a third and nine? Looks like we're going to run out of time and on the play clock, maybe. Okay, he's just sending the play on the field. Looks like JJ Garza in there. Okay, we're down to six seconds on the play clock. You don't really want it. Okay, I think we got the timeout. Okay, it's going to be timeout for timeout, the Wildcats. Wildcats. Thank you, Mr. Buck. And uh, we have one minute, 16 seconds left in the first quarter. And uh, right now, the rhythm of the Wildcats is not their normal rhythm. No. No. Like I said, it's uh, a Thursday night. It's very early, first week of school. You've got an offense that has no returners right now because Jonathan Bonda, the one he's, returner, he's out. is injured. He's out. But that's not an excuse. These kids have been in this program two, three, four years. Uh, they've played in playoff games. They've, they've been in, in big games. There's, there's like no... Uh, true rookies out there. So we got third and ten. And nothing. No real gain. Not. The ball carrier was number 21, Emilio Tamez. We got what they call the blast coach and just not much there. So we got a punt formation. We've got 
Time running out in the first quarter. We're streaming live on the internet on 956 Sports. KWES is on WISD.US, and we're on ValleyCentral.com. So we got Big with Fever back to punt formation. Come on! Not a bad kick. Not at all. Oh, and, and look it at the ended roll. up being a great kick. Look at that. Yeah, you take field position from the six-yard line to the 31-yard line. Is there a flag on the field? Yes, there is. Okay, maybe offsides. We're not sure what the flag is. But anyway, that's a, that's a pretty good field position change right there. What a what a, a weapon a kicking game becomes. Oh sure. In a game like this, you, and you've got a forty. You know that. You know that because that's that was one of your. You got a forty-four yard to midfield, and then you've got nineteen more. That's a sixty-three yard punt plus the plus the play and a penalty. Number fifty-four. Wow. Fifteen-yard penalty. First down. That that even turned into a better field position change, coach. You so uh, field position. That's. But right now, right now, the Wildcats have got to be thinking we need a stop or a turnover. And right now, Angel Tolentino, number 10, the quarterback for the Rivera Raiders, is kind of having his way. Seems like a veteran. He's taking his time. He makes sure everybody's got the call. I'm not sure who's making the call to him over there on the sideline. But here we go, quarterback run. And he's going to make about... Four yards, oh, maybe three. Uh, number 20, Luis Aguirre. Oh, okay. Looks like he's one of the guys 20. in on the play. Yes, he is. Little help from number 40, number 64, and a bunch of others. So you got second and about seven. And looks like that's the end of the first the quarter. The first so from Bobby Lackey Stadium, at the end of the first quarter, the Brownsville Rivera Raiders 14, the West Go East Wildcats 0. We are live, streaming on the, on the web. We'll be right back when play resumes. Okay, we're back live on K-West on a Thursday night in Westlaco, Texas from Bobby Lackey Stadium. Let's go East Wildcats and the Brownsville Rivera Raiders. It's second down and about seven. Carlettino, oh, threw that ball up a little bit, but he had time in the backfield. Pass was an intended to Augie Martinez, number 12. Tolentino back there, kind of scanning the field. Get some pressure right there out of number 59. That's Martin Escobedo. So we're going to have third and long at Coach Corner in the last two long yarding situations. Tolentino has completed passes. Let's see what they're going to come up with now. They got trips to the to the wide side over there. Oh, that just didn't seem right. Yeah, people are moving up in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is probably on the offense. And that's going to make it third number 75, offense. and about 11 yard or 12. Penalty. Repeat third down. You know, that's one of the dean of officials, coach. I've been on the field. You've been on the field many times, Mr. Mike Buck, a class man. Very good official. Back in my Donna coaching days, Mike Buck uh, a lot, <laughs> our, our official. Oh, like you say, he's been around a long time. He's a 
He's one of the really outstanding uh, officials in the, in the Rio Grande Valley. Okay, here's Teletino. He's going to not do anything dumb. He's going to sprint out. I guess they say we can punt and play defense. And, you know, as of right now, they're right. They are. You know, and, and you know what, Coach? This, this, this was a big, big defensive stand because now, now, Let's see the offense can get something going. Well, Coach, that punt combined with that penalty, combined with a good defensive stand, should give the Wildcats the ball around midfield. And you never know. Maybe a bad snap or a... They've been putting pressure on that punter. Maybe they'll block the punt. Well, it looks like number 30 in the punt. He's also their kicker, and he's also unidentified on our roster. I tell you what, if Roy Pedraza came hard, he might have a shot at that. That's, that's what I was talking about. And that ball's going to roll. What's the Cardinal sin on front coach? Catch it. Catch the ball. You know, they, they give you a fair catch signal so you can make that catch. So we're going to have first and 10 from the Wildcats on about the 35-yard line when play resumes. You know, the Wildcats have run three different quarterbacks so far. Uh, they've run number 13. They've run... Richard Lefevre, they've run number one, Cito Rojas, run number two, J.J. Garza. So let's see who comes out there uh, to play quarterback in uh, this series. It looks like number two. Yep. You know, J.J.'s one of those guys, Coach, who's the freshman quarterback, who's the J.V. quarterback for a couple years. Okay, looks like they're in a power eye set, and they handed it back. Away to number six. Number six, Freddy Gonzalez. Freddy Gonzalez. So, hey, first down of about six or seven yards. That's what you want on the first down. They got a power eye set. They got an unbalanced line. Let's see a little walk at football now. Oh, yeah. But there were people in the backfield that weren't sure what was about to happen That's because. All. I didn't think they were set. No, they weren't. They were kind of looking around to see what what was called. So we got third and about four. And really haven't had a huge play yet. Haven't had a positive. Like, here we go. Here, here, here we come. Okay, we got that uh, full house backfield again. J.J. Garza under center. Snuck the dive off in there, and he did not get there, I don't think, Coach. Mm -mm. I think it's going to be fourth and about a yard. Now, here, here's the Darren Rivas would be automatic on the first down here on a quarterback sneak. And I, and I promise I won't bring that up all year, but can J.J. do the same thing? We're about to find out. He just did, look like. It looks like he just did it. You know, Mr. Terry Beidler, he, he loves that. He's like, you know... I've never seen anybody do that better than the Wildcats. Um, and once again, he, he will be back with K West later this season. And uh, stay tuned. So we've got JJ Garza in there. We've got a power set. You know, sometimes you try to come out, be pretty, and run all these plays. But this is what made them famous. And there's the play I just talked about, folks, that they had not broke. That's Emilio Tamez, and that's a touchdown. And this is what, uh, what you know. 54-yard uh, run by Emilio Tomez on a power dive. That's what we talked about. Just, stay, you know, keep your composure. Come back and do what we do. And uh, good things are going to happen. Here we go. We got some line blocking up in there. And watch Emilio make contact with number 51. Almost lose the ball, coach. And then he's off to the races. And it all, it all started with a good defensive thing. Well, we talked about that. Uh, there's Orlando Ramirez with the extra point. That's a nice job by Orlando. Uh, we talked about making that positive play. Yes. You know, up until that play, Coach Freddie Gonzalez's six-yard run was probably their biggest offensive play. You know, but it's one of those deals where you punch them in the mouth and punch them in the mouth, and boom, pretty soon you have one break through. And <laughs> That's that's vintage Wildcat football right there, Coach Boz. Well, you know, that kid uh, started coming to the weight room, Coach, when he was in sixth grade. I remember that. And would stay around school all day, take a nap out there on the benches. 
and uh, he's a senior. So he's waited a long time. He, he's watched uh, Saul Cuellar for a couple years. He watched Lupe Marone. And right now, he's the man in the sunlight. And that's Emilio the, uh, Tamez. The, uh, the back that he probably saw was uh, Aaron Munguia. When he was coming up, the, oh, yeah. that is, and then, uh, oh, yeah. and, and, and I'm sure when he was younger oh, Bobby, than that, and Bobby, uh, I mean, if you go back to the day one, uh, we've had, uh, oh, yeah, lots of really good backs. Well, last year, last year, coach, I think it was homecoming. Uh, Danny Rosales was like an honorary captain. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I was like, who's the guy out there, number 25? Oh, my goodness, that was Danny Rosales. So, here we got Orlando Ramirez kicking off for the Wildcats. And hey, hey. off number five's hands, number five is Oscar Gonzalez. And boom, he does not make it to the 20-yard uh, line. That's number 82 and number 30. Number 30 is Tyler Cardenas, number 82, Ryan Rodriguez with the tackle. So our, once again, Rivera is in negative field position. Okay, let's see what Mr. Angel Tolentino, number 10, the quarterback for the Rivera Raiders, has in score for the Wildcats this go around. They've got a bunch set down here at the bottom, Coach. They're way over here, so I think they might run some time. Looks like there may be an offensive movement again. Yes, sir. Ball start. Number 75, offense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat first down. You know, when when defensively you start to, to stand and move around, it's got to create confusion, especially if you've got rule blocking in there. Right, and you also got those offensive linemen kind of standing up in there. Yep. I don't know how their uh, snap count works, but they may be trying to go on first sound, and any noise would have uh, movement caused by the offensive line. Looks like you got a double set. Colatino again in the backfield with number... 32, Mario Mendez. And he fakes the draw, and there's the tight end, or the uh, receiver down the middle. That's Augie Martinez, and that's going to be real close to a first down. I believe it is a first down. Watch him flash fake the ball to number 32. Stand up and hit the guy running down the middle of the field. It's like a tackle by Cito Rojas, number one, number 45 is Adrian Duran. <clears throat> Quarterback run. Nothing. That, well, I don't know. That's good pursuit yeah, by the defense. Yeah, he didn't get there. much there. Good pursuit by the defense. He had Roy Pedraza amongst others there on the play. Here he is. He kind of faked like he was going to pass, and he takes off. Did someone go and hit somebody late there? I I don't know. I see a flag. They're looking at the... Uh, somebody's... Yeah. Unnecessary Personal reference. foul. Number 15, Raiders. Personal foul, late hit. On the Raiders? No. Okay, he, he's confused. Let's look at... Uh, I think Cito came and tattooed one of those linemen. You know, you can't, uh, as things start changing tempo-wise, you can't injure yourself uh, with what we call foolish penalties. Coach. No, no, no. 15. Who's, who's 15? Uh, th that would be J.C. Uh, Vargas. Yeah. Cito changed to yeah. number one this year. That's right. Coach, wait until you see the white uniforms. Have you seen the white uniforms? Uh-uh. Pick. <laughs> and it is intercepted. Is that Roy Pedraza? It looks like it is. Number five, sophomore Roy Pedraza. He was one of those two freshmen, he and J.C. Vargas, who uh, played a lot of football last year as true freshmen. So, uh, you know, it's kind of everything even now. Each team has an interception, and each team has a, a touchdown. Yeah, okay, Rivera has two. 
But one of their, their interceptions led to one. Let's see if this interception leads to one. Well, here we go to that uh, power I set. And, uh, you know, again, their rhythm just does not look right. They're, they're uh, kind of shifting down at different times. And I know you're missing one of your bell cow linemen. But this is your simple stuff. This is your power eye. And it looks like they're pinching the whole world in there. It's going to be third and about six, Coach. Still J.J. Uh, Garza in the backfield. And that's Emilio Tamez right there running the football. She's got to give him a crack here. People start pinching inside. You know what's coming. Oh, yeah. But... You know, in the, in the second quarter, you, you can calm down a little bit now. Mm -hmm. the, the butterflies are out. Now we're playing football. Yeah. Um, hopefully you're communicating. Looks like Roy Pedraza in the backfield, Coach. There he come. Number three, though, he, he ran out there and said, they're not getting outside of me. They were, they were oh, questioning to take that away. Right. This is four down territory. Yo, know, it sure is. Coach Burgett's uh, calling a formation out there of some sort. He's got and doubles. He's, he's got gonna doubles. be fourth in about five from the 32 yard line. Okay, you got 18 seconds to go uh, in the play clock. 6.44 to go in the half. And we just huddled with 12. They don't throw the flag. Thank you. There it is. That's uh, Cito. Big Lefever throwing the ball to Cito Rojas. On the reception from number 13, Richard Lefever. He was real solid receiver last year. Oh, yeah. He, uh, and, and I think that might be one of the reasons he's not going full-time at quarterback because... You know, you lose him as a receiving threat, and you also will lose him off the uh, secondary if he's starting every play at quarterback. Okay, they're really changing formations right now and personnel. It's like uh, Cito in the backfield at quarterback now with Emilio. And Cito on the run. And touchdown, Cito Rojas on the quarterback counter. Cito flashes the ball to Emilio Tamez, and he gets behind two of those pulling linemen. Looks like we got Gavin Gaetan, and looks like we may have Armando Sines pulling to the right, and next thing you know, number one's running through the end zone. Orlando Ramirez in the kick. Cito Rojas, the holder. And that ball never got off the ground. So with six minutes to go, six minutes and two seconds to go, in the second quarter, Rivera 14, West East 13. Great down blocks on, on the right side by Danny Mendez and Matthew Garcia and Easy uh, Alfaro. Good pull and seal by the left guard and tackle. And uh, Cito Rojas standing in the end zone. Coach, we got a whole one minute hydration a whole new ball out. game during this <laughs> one minute hydration, hydration timeout. timeout. Um, but you know one of the one of the important right, things that was brought up earlier, and uh, and you were saying this, Bob. The returning starters, you know, it's good to have them, but. To have that uh, uh, experience of having played in the big games and, uh, uh, you know, coming in with uh, with what we have now established at East is that's tradition. Oh, sure. Uh, composure is uh, something that is uh, a, a very really big factor. They, they've shown it. Defensively, they're starting to settle down, make things happen. And uh, like you said, we got us a ball game. You know, a real wise guy that used to coach at East uh, used to say a lot that you never really lose. Sometimes you just run out of time. I wonder who that might have been. And, uh, but, but the attitude is, it, it is we're never out of a game. Never. Um, you, you quoted and you were correct that last year's game started much the same way. 
Rivera comes out and boom, boom, and you go, oh, oh, what does East have? You know, again, you just lost uh, Saul Cuellar. You don't know what Lupe Marone can do. Um, and the next thing you know, it's, uh, I don't remember the final, something like 42, 28, something like that, 20, 42, yeah. 21. Yeah. And uh, you go, wow, how did that happen? They were down 14 to nothing. Well, you can kind of say the same thing tonight. They were down 14 to zero. Um, and a couple of breaks and a couple of field position things and a couple of big plays. And in all intents and purposes, we have a tie game, even though we are down by one. Oh, yeah. But uh, the rhythm's starting to get there. Oh, yeah. Orlando Ramirez there. here kicking off for the Wildcats. Orlando kind of a squibbler there. Number 20, I believe, with the return. At number 20 is Victor Melkor. Uh, that, that, that ball just not flying like a kickoff, but causes little problems back here. No chore uh, for that's a great job by number 37, coach. He got knocked down. That's Marcus Cosseris, got back up and is in on the tackle. That's a great job by Marcus. So here we go. We got. Angel Tolentino, number 10, in at quarterback for the Rivera Raiders. And we've got about five minutes, 55 seconds to go in the first half, live at Bobby Lackey Stadium. And, 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 and this is a series that's going to make things happen. Great job by yep. the defensive line right there. Yes, sir. That quarterback ran into his lead blocker because I'm not sure who it was, but he had driven the lineman back. There was no place for him to go. So you got second and 10. You got guys like Ricky Cordoza, you got guys uh, like Marco uh, Arroyo, you got number 31, the man they call Choo Choo, Jesus Infante, they're all in there. And the Palatino back to pass, pocket kind of collapsed on him, but he got away, tackled by number four. Eric Gonzalez. And it's going to be a first down, Coach. Yeah. You know, that's do your job and keep contain and, yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. He just did a good job of, uh, of finding that little gap inside and uh, made something positive happen. Uh, he, he's impressive. His strength, the way he holds on to the ball. Um, we'll find out later on in the game if, if he can keep doing that because that, that defense is flying to the ball. And that's a handoff to number 32, and there's nothing there. Mm -mm. You know what, though? You know, the Wildcats are starting to play pretty good on first and second down. We need some plays on third down and getting off the field. You know, you hear that on the NFL. You hear that in college football. Yep. The key is getting off the field. Getting off the field. It's hard to give up points if you're not on the field. Even though it does happen with turnovers, which it did tonight. So we've got second down and 10. Tolentino in the uh, backfield with number 32, Mario Mendez. Back to pass. And there's another pick, and there's Roy no. Pedraza again. Well, he had some real good depth on that. And that and that's the key for so making things go. He, he, he's been on the kicking game. He's made plays on offense, and that's his second interception on defense. And you say, well, the kid's a sophomore. But he's a lineman. He's against Cibolo Steele last year, causing havoc in the backfield in the second half as a freshman. He, um, he'd been around football all his life. Well, yeah, his dad's right there uh, <laughs> with a big smile on his face, Coach oh, yeah. Joshua proud, Pedraza. Proud, proud pop. Who I had the pleasure of coaching way back in the day. I coached him, too, when, we, when I came back over here. And there we go. Okay, you got Ciro Rojas in the backfield with Emilio Tamez. That handoff was to Emilio, and it's going to be good for about a yard. It's going to be second and about nine. Okay, so Ciro is going to stay in at quarterback. That gives them that offense coach where you have two running threats in the backfield. I can flash the ball to Ciro. Absolutely. I mean to Emilio. Um, right now they got him in what they call a pistol. He's straight behind. So the defense can't get a, oh, that's just Cito 
running sweet. Being Cito, you know. Uh, it's that stuff that comes off that Wildcat formation. Oh, sure. Variations of it. But it works. And up front, they're doing a better job now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know, I hate to say it, but, you know, Rivera doesn't have a whole bunch of guys on their sideline. And Wildcats have about 60. Now, you say it only takes 11. But if I can run 11 and turn around and run 11 more and turn around and run 11 more, I might wear out your 11. Something to be said about depth. Oh, yeah. You were with this program when there was no depth. From the ground up, Boz. Blast. Oh. Emilio nearly snuck it through. It's going to be first down at about the 17-yard line. Great job blocking up front, moving their feet, locked on. And that's Emilio Tamez. You know, he's probably close to 100 yards here in the first half. Yeah. Of course, yep. when you throw a 55-yard run in there, it makes that a little easier. That's J.J. Garza still at quarterback. I'm not sure who ran that ball, Coach. Was that Emilio again? No, that was Fabian Castro, number 25. You know, he had a couple of sparks in, in, in some varsity games last year. And right now they kind of got the Raiders on their heels, Coach, until that play. And it looked like the Raiders were having a linebacker meeting in the backfield. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's fixing to change. Coach Rene Guzman uh, talking to the defense. And whatever uh, adjustments he's made have been good. And that was Coach Josh Pedraza that we just spoke about uh, in, the, in the frame there. Okay. I'm not sure of the formation, but it looks like we have J.J. in that quarterback, J.J. Garza. And oh, we're in our double tight look. And J.J. can run the sneak too, Coach. Yes, sir. You know, it's, it's always been a factor with Coach Mike Burgett's offense. Whether it was at Donna or even early coaching our creation at East. We had a couple of quarterbacks that were pretty good at running that sneak. In fact, there was one in 06 that scored nine touchdowns, and the longest one was three yards, I think. I think his uh, name was Jason Boswell, war number eight. And that's a nice run up the middle. Oh, he got to the one-yard line. And again, that's Fabian Castro. Now, the ball's on the one. If I had to put money on the thing, JJ's going to pull that snake. Like that. That's that's Wildcat football. Boy, he's not in. Hey, we do it again. Oh yeah, you got a couple more downs. Why not? Keep the ball, control the clock. Well, coach, we're inside a minute. We're 40 seconds to go in the half, and Coach Brigette's in no hurry. Uh-uh. It's third down and inches. We got J.J. Garza in at quarterback. And we got double tight. And we go toss. Why and not? Him, and let Emilio walk it in. Why not? Now, did you go for two, Coach? I believe so. Looks like they may be going for two. You know, this is the perfect time to work on your two-point play. Oh, sure. Now, what do you think of the NFL taking the extra point back to, like, the 40, but you can go for two, and it's, like, on the two? It's pretty interesting. Yes, it is. Uh-oh. We got a little tricky stuff going here. Okay. It's going to be a pass. And there he is. He's wide open. Let's throw it to him. <laughs> Remember that one? Oh, yeah. And that is Cito Rojas catching the two-point play from Richard LeFever. And that makes the score... 21, Raiders 14. Richard Lefevre faked the ball coming to the right, and all he has to do is not mess it up because that receiver is going to be wide open. And that's the staple also of the uh, Wildcat offense. So you've got Cito Rojas with a touchdown run and a two-point catch. Yes, sir. 
But you know what? The defense has made this all possible with interceptions and, and better field position. And here's the touchdown. J.J. Uh, Garza, he didn't get out front blocking, but everybody else did. Looks like uh, big number 44, Jonathan Bolness. Nice job, but the touchdown goes to Emilio Tamez. And Coach, that's two touchdowns for Emilio. Off to a good start. And there's big, and I say big, guys, uh, if you ever get to stand next to Mr. Richard Lefevre, uh, you see a very big, very well-mannered, hardworking young man who uh, last year was in Ben Bowl, Coach. And he's only a sophomore right here? I, I believe so, and his dad is on the coaching staff at East and from a line of coaches. His grandpa is a Yeah, that's right. And we got number 35, we've got Orlando Ramirez kicking off, and that ball looks more like a kickoff. We've got some people flying down the field, and I believe that may be Roy Pedraza, and it is number five. Wow, Roy. You know, Roy's one of those guys, Coach, and you've known him probably a little longer than I have, that's been running around the gyms at East Raleigh yeah. for about 10 years. Coach, I remember was a little bitty thing. You, you could tell, you know, it, it's, his day's kind of coming. And, and last year he, he started it. And, you know, when he was in junior high. Well, Coach, he, he, he played on that Purple Thunder or whatever they were. State and, champions. And, and, and you know who his running mate was in the backfield? Zach Gomez, who's going to be the starting quarterback at Mercedes, who's also the son of an ex. Adrian, uh, Adrian Gomez. Adrian Gomez. Now, I'm not sure what just happened. I believe... Rivera was going to knee the ball, and maybe they did knee the ball, and they're going to let it run out. So, the end of the first half here live at Bobby Lackey Stadium, the West Coast Wildcats with a 21-point comeback lead the Brownsville Rivera Raiders 21 to 14 for John Boswell and Coach Armando Cuellar. We are live on the web. And 